Franz Xaver Schwartz, November 27, 1875 to December 2, 1947, held a prominent position within the German Nazi Party, serving as the national treasurer for the majority of its existence. Additionally, he held a prominent role within the Schutzstaffel SS and was among its highest ranking members. Early life Schwartz was born in Gunsberg, the seventh of eight children to a master baker and his wife. He received his education up to high school level at the Gunsberger Vocational Training School. On August 26, 1899, Schwartz married Berta Breher. From 1900 to 1924, with the exception of the war years from 1914 to 1918, he worked as an administrative official in the municipal government of Munich. During World War I, Schwartz served as a warrant officer, Feldwebelleutnant, in the Imperial German Army. Initially a platoon leader, he was spared field duty from January 1916 onward due to persistent gastric troubles that affected him throughout his life. Following the war, he was discharged with a 30% war disability pension, placed in the reserves, and commissioned as a lieutenant in 1920. Schwartz then took on an administrative role in the Munich City Council. In 1919, Schwartz became a member of the Deutschvolkischer Schutz und Trutzbund, the largest and most influential anti-Semitic organization in the Weimar Republic. Nazi Party Career In 1922, Schwartz became a member of the Nazi Party and took part in the unsuccessful Beer Hall Putsch in November 1923. Following the government's ban on the party, Schwartz joined the Greater German People's Community, a Nazi front organization in Munich. He served as the treasurer of its governing board from July 9, 1924, until its dissolution. Upon the re-establishment of the Nazi party on February 27, 1925, Schwartz promptly rejoined as the sixth party member. Leaving his position as an accountant at Munich City Hall, he assumed the role of the full-time treasurer of the Nazi party on March 21, 1925. Schwartz played a crucial role in rebuilding the party's financial and administrative functions, including raising funds for the publication of Adolf Hitler's book, Mein Kampf. In April or May 1930, Schwartz negotiated the acquisition of the party headquarters, the Brown House at 45 Brienne Strasse in Munich. From December 1929 to October 1934, Schwartz served as a city councillor in Munich. Starting on September 16, 1931, Hitler granted Schwartz plenipotentiary powers over all financial matters of the Nazi party. After the Nazis seized power, Schwartz was elected to the Reichstag in March 1933, representing electoral constituency 26, Franconia, and remained in office until the fall of the Nazi regime. On June 2, 1933, he was appointed a Reich leader, the second highest political rank in the Nazi party. Additionally, on October 2, 1933, Schwartz became a member of the Academy for German Law. Hitler attended Schwartz's 60th birthday celebration on November 27, 1935. In Hitler's will dated May 2, 1938, which left his entire fortune to the party, there was a provision for it to be opened in Schwartz's presence. In addition to overseeing the party treasury, primarily funded by membership dues, Schwartz was responsible for the allocation of unique membership numbers within the NSDAP. The numbers were not reused if members died or ceased payment, resulting in the assignment of new numbers for rejoining members. Schwartz, recognized as a proficient administrator, generally stayed out of party politics. SA and SS membership on December 18, 1931, Schwartz was appointed as a Gruppenführer in the Sturmabteilung, SA, the paramilitary organization of the Nazi Party. In June 1932, he joined the Schutzstaffel, SS, with the rank of Gruppenführer and was assigned SS member number 38,500. On July 1, 1933, he was promoted to the rank of SS Obergruppenführer. Subsequently, on November 9, 1933, his SA rank was elevated to Obergruppenführer. Finally, on April 20, 1942, he achieved the newly established rank of SS Obergruppenführer, a distinction held by only four individuals in history. On June 5, 1944, Schwartz was honored with the War Merit Cross, First Class with Swords, 
Kriegsverdienst Kreutz I. Class MIT Schwerten, by Hitler for his contributions during the Munich air raids on April 24th to 25th of that year. Additionally, Schwartz led a Volkssturm battalion in Grunwald towards the end of the war. Following the war, he was apprehended by the Americans and interned at Camp Ashkan. Death Schwartz passed away in a different Allied internment camp near Regensburg on December 2, 1947, at the age of 72, succumbing to persistent gastric troubles. In September 1948, the Munich Denazification Court posthumously categorized Schwartz as a major offender, leading to the confiscation of all his assets. Thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and share it. Your support is greatly appreciated, and you can find details on how to support my channels through PayPal and Patreon in the description box below.